In this video, we're talking about the six steps to moving to Bremerton, Washington, and we're gonna get it going right now. What's up, everybody? It's Cassandra Lopez with the Living in Bremerton channel and Remax exclusive. And if you are new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and tap that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a weekly video. And honestly, my team and I, we get calls all the time from people who are moving to Bremerton or thinking of moving to Bremerton. So if that's you, if you're moving here or thinking of moving here, then give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, get a hold of me any way you want and I will be sure you're totally taken care of when moving to Bremerton. So I promise you guys, moving to Bremerton does not need to be a stressful situation. And we're gonna talk about the six steps to make it super smooth and super simple. Step number one to moving to Bremerton, Washington is to simply reach out to me. My team and I, we love it when people get in touch with us when they're moving here, relocating here, especially if they've never been here before. We do have a lot of military who are coming here for the second time. So they were here once before and then they got stationed elsewhere and now they're coming back. So that's always fun too. But I always say, you know, the sooner the better. As soon as you're, you realize that you're thinking of moving here or that you are moving here, reach out. I'm working with people who reached out to me six to nine months ago, in some cases over a year, uh, because they knew they were moving here and they just got a really good head start on that. I think back to when I moved here 20 years ago and I wish I would have had the resources available that are that are available today. I didn't know anybody here. It would have been super helpful to have that person who was physically here, boots on the ground, could let me know where to eat, where to stay, neighborhoods to check out, and more importantly, maybe neighborhoods not to check out. And that's what I wanna be for you, is a trusted resource. Somebody here who can give you the lay of the land, can show you around, um, try to give you you know, a good feel, some hot spots around the town so you can you know, feel like once you arrive that you're already familiar with the area and the neighborhoods. For all my out of town clients, I like to offer a Zoom call first up. And for your convenience, I've actually put a Zoom link in the description and in the comments. So you can just click that. You'll have access to our online calendar. So you can just kind of schedule something that works for you, that works for both of us. And that'll just give us an opportunity to discuss face to face, meet, say hi. I can get a feel for what you're looking for, your needs, your wants, your must haves, that sort of thing. And um, what's available in your price range that you're looking. We can do a screen share, we can do all kinds of stuff. So that way you can actually see maps and that sort of thing. I can walk you through the areas and that sort of stuff virtually um, on that Zoom call so that you know when you do arrive, you're kind of familiar with what's going on. So go ahead and hop in the description, hop in the comments, click that Zoom link, set yourself up with a calendar block so, you, so we can meet face-to-face -face virtually. Step number two is narrowing down your criteria and your neighborhoods. So when you're moving to Bremerton, it's not just the city of Bremerton. There's unincorporated Bremerton that's county jurisdiction. And then there's the outlying neighborhoods like Port Orchard and Seabeck and Silverdale and Polsbo and all of these neighborhoods and towns that are on the Kitsap Peninsula that may work great for you, but maybe you haven't heard of them or you haven't taken a moment to explore them. So this, what this is going to do is really narrow down where you want to live. Say you want to be within a 30 minute commute of Bangor Bay. So, okay, let's do a radius 30 minute commute and pick out all the neighborhoods that um, fit your goals and your needs within that. And this is super helpful because it allows us to kind of take a few minutes to slow things down, take a good cross section of what's available on the market, um, especially with how fast paced the market is moving right now. And so a lot of people get a little anxious, a little, you know, concerned that there's not going to be something available for them. But once we start really digging into your criteria and what you need and what your family needs, um, it becomes pretty apparent what is available and that what would be um, might be a good fit for you. What a lot of people find is that once they start plugging in their criteria, you know, their beds, their baths, their square footage, their lot size, their price point, um, there maybe won't be, you know, 15 to 20 homes to look at like there was you know, five years ago. Today, there might only be five. Setting a realistic expectation for what the seller's market currently looks like. Right now it's October, 2021. So we're still um, just in the thick of a seller's market. So purchasing a home in a seller's market is 100% doable. 
We just need to set the right expectations and to get you what you need for the price you want in a timely fashion. Step number three when moving to Bremerton, Washington is to secure your financing. So this step is super important. It's actually critical that you secure your financing before uh, entering into the home purchase process. The reason for this is we need to make sure that the price points where you want it to be, your interest rates where you want it to be, and you're good to go and you secure yourself as a solid buyer and set yourself up for success. And we're always happy to refer you to one or more of our local lenders that uh, we work here that share our values and our level of customer service to make sure that you're super informed, that you know all of your options in terms of financing, and that you feel like you're in control of the process the whole time. Because if your purchase involves any level of financing whatsoever, this is gonna be a critical step. Because when we start to look at homes and we start to place offers, you're going to need to have your financing in place prior to that. So it's always a good idea to talk to a lender right up front. As a buyer, you're certainly entitled to work with whatever mortgage lender you want, but we find that our clients who are the most satisfied are the ones who work with the local lenders who are here in our market. And the reason for that is they know our market, they know what's going on, they know the strategies and the tips and the tricks that it's gonna to take to get you into uh, secure your home. They have a reputation that is favorable in our area. People know them, this is a small community. A lot of people know a lot of other people. So, you know, it's always favorable to have a name on the contract and a name on the pre-approval that people know and they like and they trust to get the job done. All right, now that we've narrowed down your criteria, your locations, and secured your financing, we're heading to step number four, which is building out your custom home search. So in our Northwest MLS, we have this feature called the Buyer Portal, and I can set up your criteria on my end, and it'll send you every home available on your end. And from your portal experience, you will have an option to heart, favorite, like, comment, delete homes that don't work for you, and just leave little notes for me. So I can see your notes, I can go in there and check, so you know, we'd like to see this home between this time, or you know, this home is too close to the road, let's delete it. Okay, cool, so that gives me an opportunity to go back and refine your search even more. And what this does is it sends you homes the minute they hit the market, so you're notified immediately so that you don't miss anything that may work for you. And it gives me an opportunity to constantly be in flow with what's important to you. Because sometimes what happens is we'll set up your search and you'll start collecting homes and leaving notes and liking and favoriting and deleting. And then you decide, well, maybe I don't need uh, you know, two acres, maybe I'm okay with half an acre. And so we adjust your criteria a little bit and then we can have more options available to us as we adjust going through. So it's always adjustable. It's never set in stone. You know, once I start your search, I can always make sure that you're getting every home available that would work well for you and that matches what you need. Now that you've picked out the favorite homes that you want to see, it's time for step number five, which is scheduling your tour dates. So whether you're coming to Bremerton to just kind of check out the scene, check out the neighborhoods, see what it's like, or you are coming to Bremerton to buy a house trip, Either way, we can totally set you up for success. We've structured our team in a way that we have what's called showing agents and their 100% dedicated job to you is to just show you homes. So they're out in the field, they're out in the marketplace, they're networking with other agents, they're previewing homes, they're scanning the inventory, they're doing everything they gotta do to stay apprised of the market and they will dedicate time just for you to show you homes in the marketplace. And then of course, I'm always free for questions or concerns or anything like that. So if you are coming from out of town but you can't physically make it here, we also have options for virtual tours. So we can either do, you know, like a Google Duo app video, like a live video or FaceTime style video, or we can do uh, video links so I can send you individual links for the video tours, um, whatever is most helpful. A lot of times if I'm in an area where I don't get great cell service, the video links are always better. Otherwise our live video feed is going to be super granulated, super choppy. It's just not a good experience for you. So if I know I'm going to be in a place where I have limited service, then I will just let you know, hey, I'm just going to take a few videos and I'll send you the links. And if I've done my job right, you're going to show up here, 
feeling like a local, knowing the neighborhoods, driving around going, hey, I remember seeing that in the video with the bridge. And you're just gonna show up feeling really confident that you know the area and you're secure in where you wanna buy and you feel good about the whole process. Now that we've narrowed down your criteria, secured your financing and toured a bunch of homes that meet your criteria, and you hopefully have gotten one under contract. So now you have a purchase and sale agreement. So step number six is to guide you through the buying process. So really buying a home is nothing more than really, really strong communication between me and you. So open lines of communication, lots of Q and A, lots of moving parts going on. So I'm, you know, communicating with you almost daily through the whole thing and setting the expectations and letting you know, you know, what the next steps are, letting you know who you need to talk to for what aspect of the transaction. Um, those are all really, really important parts of the buying process so that hopefully we can close on your new home. You arrive here, I can hand you the keys, shake your hand for the first time maybe, and introduce you to your new place in your new neighborhood. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel and tap that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a weekly video. And be sure to reach out to me, give me a call, text, shoot me an email, however you wanna get a hold of me. I will make sure you're 100% taken care of when moving to Bremerton, Washington. Bye for now.